welcome to our channel. We will, dis we will discuss today rice terraces in the Philippines. For your information, one of the greatest wonders in the world is found in an upland province in the Philippines called Banaue. As you can see in the video, these are rice terraces carved on the side of mountains or hills in the province of Banaue um, in the Philippines. And uh, it is considered one of the world's uh, greatest wonders of the world because it is extremely difficult creating um, this natural uh, site for planting rice on the side of mountains. So as you can imagine, it takes great efforts to carve the side of hills and mountains for the purpose of planting rice. Uh, but <clears throat> as you can see, uh, these are <clears throat> unmistakably uh, terraces uh, made of rice fields. And it's not only in Banawe where you find this kind of phenomenon. Because you see this also in Visayas, there's a particular province there, specifically in Negros Occidental, where you see this kind of spectacle uh, which is similar to what you find in Banawe. And as you can imagine, the use of land, uh, agricultural land in these areas is maximized by uh, creating, of course, using a minimum of uh, tools and mostly with their hands, with their bare hands, uh, rice terraces in these places. So it must have taken great efforts to be able to plant rice on the side of mountains of hills as you can see in this video. Unlike in most places in the Philippines which grow rice, they use flat agricultural land to grow rice, which is much easier to do uh, during summer months from uh, January to June instead of carving the side of hills and mountains and producing rice terraces as you can see in this video. And these rice terraces had been built for decades so they must have been planting rice in these uh, rice terraces for decades or for tens of years. So there is also a long history uh, to this kind of phenomenon or spectacle that you don't often see in the Philippines uh, because this kind of spectacles are found only in selected areas or provinces in the Philippines which are mostly upland regions. So as you can see, these kind of rice terraces are very pleasing to the eyes, especially because uh, it's mostly greenery that you see, and rice, for your information, is the staple food uh, eaten by, majority, by the vast majority of Filipinos uh, daily, uh, nearly uh, or not nearly, but almost invariably or almost a daily uh, three times a day. 
So, Pilipinas in general can hardly survive without eating rice at least three times a day. So, rice is a staple food in the Philippines and uh, rice as a commodity is valued anywhere and everywhere in the Philippines. And there's even uh, a chain of restaurants, fast food restaurants in Metro Manila as well as in the provinces which offer as a promotion to the food that they serve unlimited rice. So the concept is very simple. If you order barbecue chicken or barbecue pork, you have a choice of eating as much rice as you can as long as you pay extra uh, for the extra quantity of rice that you can eat. And uh, as what happens, this popular, uh, this um, chain of restaurant called Inasal uh, and uh, this chain originated in the Visayas <clears throat> became very popular because for a small amount of money Filipinos can eat as much rice as possible or as much as they can eat in this chain of restaurant and they get to eat <clears throat> freshly cooked um, barbecue chicken or barbecue pork <clears throat> so rice has been instrumental or very vital or very important in contributing to the popularity extreme popularity of this chain of restaurants uh, called Inasal in fact I mean uh, Inasal is also one of my favorites whenever I visit the Philippines from Hong Kong where I'm based because there is no such thing uh, in Hong Kong so it is a sort of delicacy in terms of the type of cooking and in terms of taste it is one of the most wonderful Filipino food I mean that you can eat <clears throat> and as you can see in the video it's not easy planting rice uh, because <clears throat> Animals like carabaos or cows are usually used not mechanized tractors or not tractors uh, that run on fuel that are used to till uh, this agricultural land before rice is planted. <clears throat> so as again as you can see in this video, these uh, rice terraces in the foreground can be compared to a garden thanks very much for watching